Cognitive load refers to the total amount of mental effort being used in working memory. Extraneous cognitive load refers specifically to the information presented to learners and under control of instructional designers. Cognitive load theory was developed by John Sweller in the 1980s out of the study of problem solving. Let's take a look at three principles that can guide us when designing instructional media. Working memory includes visual and auditory channels. People learn through their eyes and ears. Working memory has a finite capacity. There is a limit to the amount of information people can process and store. Meaningful learning occurs when a learner selects relevant information from auditory and visual channels, organizes the information into a coherent representation, and makes connections between each channel. So what does that mean for instructional designers? Let's take a look at five principles we can use to reduce cognitive load. The first is coherence. Delete extraneous words and graphics and sounds. When sounds that are interesting yet not essential are introduced, they increase cognitive load. In other words, the learner's finite capacity for essential information is reduced. Some examples of this might be transition sounds or background music during the presentation of material to be learned. When providing written text, you can highlight what is most important for the learner to know. When describing an electrical circuit with accompanying graphic, you could highlight the name of the components or the picture of the components themselves when describing them. Redundancy is related to coherence. In the same way you would not use extraneous sounds, you wouldn't use narration and the text of the narration at the same time. Learners must scan the animation or graphic to find visual text at the same time they are processing the audio text, increasing cognitive load. There may be some situations where visual and audio text might make pedagogical sense, as in the case of non-native language learners. In this case, Signaling can decrease cognitive load by directing the learner to the essential text instead of having them to search for it. Place essential words next to corresponding graphics. Users should not have to guess what text is labeling. Text should be placed next to the elements they are describing, and captions should be unambiguous. Present corresponding words and pictures simultaneously. Audiovisual aspects are not as effective when presented at different times. If you are describing a traffic light, then you should present the image of the traffic light at the same time as the narration. Coherence, signaling, redundancy, spatial contiguity, temporal contiguity. Use these five principles to reduce cognitive load on learners and increase their learning and retention.